Hello, this is Bern, and if you're a single woman who consistently gets unsolicited love advice by friends and family who might be well-intentioned but ill-informed, please stick around because today I'm going to be sharing with you what are three bad pieces of love advice that you need to stay away from if you want to find deep devotional love. Stick around. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great LifeTV.com. Today's another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm excited to be sharing with you what are three shitty pieces of love advice that you should never listen to if you want to find deep devotional love. Here's the thing. Most human beings feel that love should be the most natural thing in the world, and because it should be the most natural thing in the world, they can just spew out and share with you freely advice that might benefit you in terms of you finding love. And if somebody finds, for example, uh, found love, they feel, well, I should be able to just share with you how I did it. But it's different for each person. So if you are, you've been listening to well-intentioned friends and family who might be really ruining your chances to get what you want by sharing with you bad love advice, well, I'm here to share with you at least what are three very common but bad pieces of love advice that you need to really run away from if you want to find this. Number one is just give it time, sweetie. It will happen on its own. Stop trying so hard. Stop doing things to find love. If it's really meant to happen, it will just come up. Just wait and see. That's the biggest crock of shit I've heard people spew out in terms of finding love. Because here's the thing. Imagine that you said, I want to be a doctor, or I want to start my own business, or I want to become a millionaire, or I want to discover a cure for cancer. And somebody comes to you and says, well, stop working so freaking hard. Just give it time. It will happen on its own. You would say this person's mentally insane. Why should it be different with love? Here's the distinction I'm making. Finding basic love, I guess, finding a boyfriend, finding a partner for the night is the easiest thing in the world. Finding deep, devotional, sustainable love with a par partner who can be your best friend and lover is not the same thing. So while bad love advice can land you a boyfriend, bad love advice will not land you the devotional partnership out of this world that you're looking for. So whenever somebody says, just give it time, it'll happen on its own, I think run away from that because I think while you may not want to force a situation or look and feel desperate, I get that. But from there to not doing something massively different from what you've been doing before, that requires getting uncomfortable, that requires taking a lot of action. I think that's that there's a different story behind that. You might need to get mentorship. You might need to get someone to help you see what you've not been doing right and tell you straight to your face instead of trying to figure out by trial and error over the next 10 years. That might be what's required. You might need to go to a conference. You might need to figure out some way to break through your own fears and limitations in a practical way. But just giving it time is not going to make it happen faster or make it happen even. Okay, number two, you're just unlucky. Sweetie, you've just been unlucky. It's not that, that you've doing, been doing things that may push love away or you've been choosing a-holes instead of awesome guys for some obscure reason because it makes you feel at home in some way. It's that you've been unlucky. Whenever you place your woes and love misfortunes on lock, you're, you're basically screwing yourself over because you're not giving yourself the chance to say, well, while well, luck and grace are part of this planet, I guess, there's other factors that supersede them through time. So if every love interlude that you've experienced has been unlucky, it's more than luck. And you need to figure out what beyond luck is causing you to have an addictive relationship to love, a painful relationship to love, or a lowering of your standards in a way where you can't get what you want consistently. Luck is one of many factors, but there's other factors that matter and way more than luck. Three, you're just so picky. Stop being so damn picky. Just choose a guy and just go with it. You know, it's just marriage. <laughs> so think about this. Uh, you don't have to find someone for convenience. You don't have to find someone to not tarnish your family's name because this is not the 1850 where if you didn't do that, then your family sh would be shamed for you being a lonely uh, bachelorette, right? You are in a situation right now in 2017 where you can find the love that you want because you want it inside of yourself. You're going more than just the basics. You want something that fills your heart, 
your spirit and your body as well, right? So if that's what you're looking for, you should be picky. You should be choosy. You should have a high freaking standard as to what you want to experience. But here's that's one part of the story is be picky in a way that is not you're not saying no to the guy because he wears the wrong brand of shoes. You're saying no to the guy because maybe he smells and you don't find any chemical attraction with him. That's a strong enough reason not to find, not to be with someone. You don't feel it for the guy. You don't feel any chemistry with him. That's a strong reason. Uh, he wears the wrong haircut, probably not, right? So part of it is having high standards. The other part, my dear, is how do you show up? How do you show up in a way where your high standards are a match with you, the way you show up, the way you shine, the way you express your feminine goddess radiance and vibrancy and aliveness, and so that what you want and who you are are resonating highly. Now, if you find this is helpful, useful, and insightful, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video, you're gonna see a website that allows you to sign up for a webinar I'm hosting that shares with you a blueprint to find your soulmate in record time. Now, beyond that, you will also find as an additional link below and as an additional link right here on your screen, a link where you can sign up and apply for a conversation with me where we can figure out if, you've, if you're tired of not finding the love you want, if the law of attraction and the books and the videos are not doing it for you, then, and you want real, sustainable, practical, actionable help to get what you want in a much shorter amount of time and you would like to explore if my help can do it, then let's connect, sign up for a call and if we're a match, we'll basically have that conversation. If we're not, we'll let you know why. And, uh, and if we do, we'll again figure out if we can help you get exactly what you're looking for with a lot less pain and a lot less time. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.